This video demonstrates how you can merge 3D objects in Synchro Pro. This feature allows you to turn your detailed 3D design model into a lighter version that is more suitable for the 4D management process. The fastest way to merge 3D objects is to limit the 3D object tree levels on import. For example, let's import a basic gas plant model and set the limiting value to 1. Because we set the limiting value to one level, you will notice that the entire plant model was imported as a single 3D object. This can be useful when importing logistics models such as site context, trucks, forklifts, and cranes. Let's undo and try re-importing the same model with a higher limit set on the 3D object's tree levels. This time, let's set the value to 2. This time you will notice that the 3D objects have been merged according to the categories they belong to. This may be fine for high level sequencing, however serious 4D planning will require more detail in the 3D construction management model. Let's undo, re-import the same model, but this time set the limiting value to 3 levels. Now you will notice that the level of detail is suitable for 4D planning. We can subdivide the pipes for example within Synchro into spool sections if required. Also note that you can always import the model by parts if different levels of detail are required for different sections. For example, if the steel structures need to be more detailed than the tanks. Now we will look at merging 3D objects after the model has already been imported. For example, if we look at the 3D view, we will notice that the tanks in this model are treated as a single 3D object each. However, if we look at the 3D objects tab, we will notice that we can still select each individual subpart of the tank. This is because all of these subparts have been assigned to a single resource called tank1 in this case. To better understand this concept, let's remove any resource assignments from the 3D elements of this tank. You will notice that now we can individually select any of the subparts of the tank. Let's reassign all of the parts of the tank to a single resource. Select any of the parts, and from the 3D objects tab, Hit the left arrow key while holding down the shift button to easily find the parent. You may need to do this more than once to get to the desired level of detail, but once you do, use the resource wizard to reassign all of these objects to a single resource. Let's reassign to the existing resource tank1 so that we won't have to relink to the task and 3D path. Move the focus time slowly through the Gantt chart to make sure that the assignments are still correct. You can also group a set of 3D objects into a single resource while still being able to select each individual subpart in the 3D view. To do this, let's unassign the tank from any resources, then select all of the subparts from the 3D tab without selecting the parent, and then reassign to the existing resource tank1. Notice that the tank will still be lowered in place as one 3D resource, but that you can still select subparts individually in the 3D view. What happens now is that the whole tank will be treated as one element in the resource properties tab and a set of 3D subparts in the 3D properties tab. This means that the tank will be treated as a whole in any 4D operation but that you can still examine the element properties of each subpart.